How's it going guys? I'm Gary Lutton and I'm a fingerstyle guitarist from Belfast. What we're going to be doing today is Let It Be by The Beatles and it's an arrangement for solo fingerstyle guitar. I'm going to break these lessons into three parts so it'll be like introduction, the verse parts and then the chorus and now we're going to focus on the introduction. First off, the guitar is tuned to open C which is a C major chord um, and what that allows us to do then is play the tonic chord on open strings. Each string will go C, G, C, G, C, and then E on the top. Okay. So I'm going to start off here, I'm just going to go through the chords that make up the intro. This is obviously played on piano in the original, but we're going to play on guitar. Uh, the first chord is, no surprise, C. And the way I'm playing this is with my thumb on the lowest note of the chord, so this is on the sixth string, and then with my three fingers, but alternatively you can strum this as well, whatever way is easiest for you. So that's C. The next chord we're going to play looks like this, and that's a G. So you've got uh, your fourth string on the second fret and your second string on the second fret, fretted. Next chord, A minor, and it kind of just looks like a par chord that you might be used to playing. Last chord in this bar then is like an F, and all we're going to do there is bar the top three strings on fret five. So those four chords again, C, G, A minor, F. The next two bars then will be start off the same. So we're starting off with C again, G, but then we have this little turnaround. Um, and that's a little bit trickier. So what we're gonna do is fret the fifth fret up on the top string with our little finger, and then we have to stretch down to the second fret on our third string with our first finger. That's like our F, we're going to move down. This is like a C in first inversion. Move down again to an E and finish on a D. So that turn around once more. So, all together. Now, you can play the intro like that, and it's completely fine, but you can add some other things to make it a little bit more interesting as well, and use the advantages that you have on the guitar. So the way I like to do it is pluck the first one, okay, then strum the second one. And I also put a little thumb click here just to accent that beat. If, uh, if you're already familiar with that technique, then you can go ahead and put it in. If you're not, it can take a little while to get the hang of. Um, so maybe just strum for now. So I will pick the chord, strum, then pick the bass note, and do that for every chord, like this. And um, the only little variation there was on the F chord, 
where when I strum, instead of that high E being our highest note, what I'm aiming for is this note here, which is seventh fret, third string. I'm trying to get that with the strum. So the F together will look like this. Once more. So once you've got that, we can now move on to the verse part. And one thing I would keep in mind for the verse is that it's actually the same chord progression and also you can use that we turn around again and again. So we're going to use that for the verse and the chorus part. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Alright guys, well I hope that you enjoyed the lesson and don't forget to check out jellynote.com because the interactive tabs for this lesson will be on the site and the link for that is in the description. Thank you. Thank you.